Who's going to leave it all out there on the set tonight? We are. Who's going to have a lot of fun doing it? We are. All right, we're probably here in the Philippines on three. One, two, three. We're probably huge in the, in Philippines. the Philippines. Let's go. Tonight. Yes. Tonight, live at the Scullery Theater. From the entertainment capital of the world in the heart of downtown Las Vegas, we present the Downtown Podcast. Starring Mr. Dylan Jorgensen, Jillian Minter, Trey Taliaferri, and music by DJ Lenny Love Alfonso. Tonight's guest from, from Bad Ink, Dirk Berman. We'll be filming questions for the Ask Oscar campaign as seen on Vegas 360. Our musical guest, Play for Keeps. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for the man who likes everything in him in his bowl super. Mr. Trey Tayaberry! How's everyone doing tonight? Yeah. All right. Great. Great show tonight, huh? Great. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're excited, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of the Super Bowl, um, who's ready for the Super Bowl this weekend? Yeah. yeah. yeah yes. Seahawks versus the Patriots. Boo, football. Um, turns out Tom Brady came down with a little bit of a cold. Um, his, uh, they took his temperature and it came out to 101 PSI. <laughs> oh, you know what? No deflate gate. We're not going to do any deflate gates. We're going to talk about uh, something near and dear to, to Lenny's heart, Valentine's Day. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you excited for Valentine's I Day? I love love. I love love. You love love, yeah. <laughs> it, who else is excited about Valentine's yeah. Day coming up? No. Two weeks. <laughs> Derek is. Forget football. Love. <laughs> For those of you who aren't excited about Valentine's Day, there's a special website for you to go to called InvisibleGirlfriend.com. Has anyone heard of this? You can go on, scroll through a catalog of, of women, pick one that you think would, be, that would best suit you as a girlfriend, and then they have like a little Mad Lib where you can uh, go through um, how you guys met. Uh, she will text you. Uh, you, can set, you can have pictures. I don't know if you can Photoshop yourself in there. Put on social media so that you can show all your invisible friends how popular, popular you are <laughs> with an invisible girlfriend. What do you think? Um, I guess we're done with the catfish phase, and we decided we're just going to catfish ourselves. <laughs> right? Manti Teo what? I'm going to do it to myself. <laughs> right? Right? I don't know why we want to have an invisible girlfriend, because sometimes the arguments you have with your girlfriend are a little strange. Right? Yeah, yeah, Sometimes sure. you, gotta, you have to be careful of what you do, especially in her dreams. <laughs> I have to all right, all right. get a text from my girlfriend that says, you had a, I had a dream and you were mean to me in the dream. And I have to say, oh, I'm sorry. What did I talk about? She's like, I don't know. You're just mean. And I don't want to talk to you for the rest of the day. All right. So I got to go play with my friends. <laughs> I don't know. That's a weird conversation to have. It would be even weirder with an invisible girlfriend. To have that conversation, you just sit there by yourself and be like, well, I'm sorry that I, didn't, that I didn't do that in your dream. I'm sorry. What do you want me to do about it? OK. OK. OK, I'm crazy. <laughs> crazy thing, yeah. Um, the worst part, though, is, uh, is our pal Joey right here. Uh, he signed up for Invisible Girlfriend. And uh, he, told, he came crying today. And we said, what happened? And he said, uh, my, my Invisible Girlfriend cheated on me with my imaginary friend. <laughs> Oh, oh, poor Joe, poor Joe. We have a great show for you guys tonight. Stay tuned. Uh, we got a lot of things we're gonna do. We're gonna ask Oscar Goodman a few questions. We got some talented tattoo people gonna talk about tattoos that don't like football but love love, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. But first, let's give it up for our pal DJ Lenny Love Alfonso. Yeah. Thanks for coming out. Well, tonight I'm here to tell you all about Ask Oscar. So first, let's start with the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority is the official destination marketing organization of Las Vegas. The organization is tasked with keeping our 150,000 hotel rooms full and the creators of the iconic What Happens in Vegas Stays Here ad campaign. The LVCVA is also responsible for operating the Las Vegas Convention Center, which hosts some of the largest and most talked about conventions in the world, including the annual Consumer Electronics Show. The Las Vegas Host Committee was created by the LVCVA 
as a way to show appreciation for the 40 million visitors who come here every year and keep our economy buzzing. Tourism is the lifeblood of the Southern Nevada economy and jobs for 47% of our residents and generates $45 billion for our economy. It's important to show appreciation to those tourists. Former Mayor Oscar Goodman was named chairman of the host committee and serves as the official ambassador of Las Vegas. He attends many of the large convention and special events such as the annual NASCAR race, the national finals rodeo, and more to welcome everyone who comes to town. The other job he does as host committee chairman is to help educate everyone who lives in Southern Nevada about the benefit tourism provides to them. Room tax dollars from visitors pay for school construction, teacher salaries, road improvements, and even building parks. Now let me tell you about Ask Oscar. Ask Oscar was developed as a way to provide the people with information they want to know about tourism. The host committee can talk about tourism and the benefits of the industry all day, but they wanted to make sure they were answering the questions that really matter to you. Do you have a tourism question you've always wanted to answer but didn't know where to ask? Well, now you can. Tonight you'll have the opportunity to submit your official Ambassador of Las Vegas former Mayor Oscar Goodman questions. You can ask him, and you know when Oscar's involved, you're gonna get a straight answer. Maybe your question will be featured in an upcoming episode on Las Vegas 360. So, does anyone have a question for Ask Oscar? Hi there, my name is uh, DJ Lenny Love Alfonso. Um, I'm a local DJ here in downtown Las Vegas. I work out of the downtown cocktail room here downtown. And my question is, a sports team here in Las Vegas, a pro professional sports team, and the gaming uh, issue, uh, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Oscar, quick question. How has Vegas changed right now compared to five years ago? I want to know what's totally different in Vegas right now. Like the tech scene, downtown Las Vegas, the convention scene, all that kind of stuff. Like why is it different? Hi, Oscar. Um, my name is Frankie. Anyway, um, I'm just wondering what uh, Las Vegas is doing to provide incentives to associations to bring their trade shows to Las Vegas. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Woo! Here's <laughs> <laughs> a good one. All right, here we go. Hi, Oscar. I'm Joseph. I was just wondering what it's like sleeping with the mayor of Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Oscar, my name is Pedro, downtown Seoul Vegas. I'm curious to know when the monorail is gonna run all the way to the airport. Yeah. <laughs> hey Oscar, my name is Rick. I'm curious about your uh, solutions for the homeless problem. Uh, you might remember it was rather controversial some of the things you said when you were mayor, and I was wondering if you have any different opinions on how to deal with that issue now as compared to about five or 10 years ago. Thank you. Hi, Oscar. I'm Naveen, um, co-founder of SinsGrid.com. I had a question. Uh, what is Las Vegas doing to help out UNLV and their students, and especially the education in Las Vegas? Right. Oh, thank you. Oscar, my name is Joe. I was wondering, do you think tourism can uh, support a, a local sports team just based on tourism, or do you need uh, people living down in Vegas also to support them more? Mm -hmm. Hi, Oscar. This is Dylan Jorgensen from the Downtown Podcast. And I have a question about alcohol consumption in Las Vegas. With all of the people coming here, do you have any data about what alcohol is the most and least consumed in Las Vegas, Nevada? Oscar, are, are you related to John Goodman? <laughs> hey, okay. Thank you guys so much for helping film the special segment here at the Downtown Podcast podcast for Ask Oscar. Up next, we have Dylan interviewing Dirk Verman. Take a break and step out to the dazzling lights. Start where it all began. Try your luck on Fremont East. Listen to live music as you make your way down the street. You'll collide and connect with amazing people. Later in the night, you'll find a variety of restaurants ready to satisfy any appetite or craving you may have.
pick any bar, lounge, or cafe. Have a craft cocktail while the kids go down the slide as you relax and unwind with your favorite drink. Explore the shops and galleries you'll find curated items just for you. You'll love downtown Las Vegas. Show the world. Visit us online at lovedtlv.vegas. Yeah! We're here. Look at this. Wow, we made it. Dylan. Very nice to meet you. Are you kidding? It's nice to meet you. I know. I hear we're, we're here to drink and talk about downtown. Yes, yes. In oh, that order. Okay. Ladies well and gentlemen. Before I introduce him. To Dylan and the Downtown Podcast. podcast. All, right, all right. Very nice. I, th it's funny because this room seems so small, but there's literally 1,000 people here. I know. It's really incredible. Know, it's amazing. The way we fit it in. David Letterman's got nothing on us. <laughs> no, no. He's retiring because of us, probably. No. He should be. <laughs> this is production. Look at this. And we got the DJ. Ladies and gentlemen, Cheech Marin. No? Okay. It was an easy uh, joke. It was an easy uh, joke. It was an easy joke. Oh, uh, they're such amateurs. Okay. <laughs> Listen, so. Yes, sir. You guys, we have one of the best shows coming up. You are famous from a TV show that ran on a and &E I'm semi-famous for a TV show that you You said you had no problem getting girls. That's how you rank how well, famous have you, have you, you seen, are. Have you seen this charm? <laughs> have you seen this personality? Have you seen this face? <laughs> Have you seen yeah. his girlfriend, Have Erica? you seen my girlfriend, the most beautiful girl in the world? Erica yeah, Johnson. Michelle, yeah. Okay. Came to get a yeah. tattoo You should have seen the girls up. before TV. They were, they were half as pretty. They were half as pretty. Yeah, I, I know. You, we, we, all that I know, I know oh, what the girls I like. Yeah. I remember. We just taught him about Tinder the off kind of camera. Girl, the kind of girls, the kind of girls that Dylan got. Yeah. Okay, it's, now, <laughs> now, now. No, it's all right. You're Look, straight, right? No, let's be honest. All right, straight to the bar. Let's yeah, straight to the bar. Okay, but anyways, but Dirk Vermin, everybody. Give him a round of applause, yeah. Thank In the you. Pussycat Tattoo Parlor, not Look too far the, from the, here. We're at local. standing room capacity here. This is amazing. I know. Look sorry it's so hot. The body heat, you can't anticipate. It's okay. Well, at least all the pretty girls are up front. Thank you. <laughs> and in the back. In the back. Sorry. Okay. So, you know, you're in downtown Las Vegas. Yes. A lot of uh, kind of um, revitalization going on downtown. Tons of entrepreneurs. I wanted to jump right into you building a career out of tattoo that seems to stand above most other people. So how did you do it? What lessons could you uh, teach us? Well, I mean, I started a long time ago. I've been tattooing 20 years, so oh, I have so a did different... did it just happen overnight and it was nothing? <laughs> According to a and &E, it happened overnight. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> can we edit that out? Uh, just I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just we kidding. can't. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just Let's kidding. just, we'll go with it. We'll go with it. <laughs> but yeah, mm. tell us about... Uh... Let's talk about Johnny Walker Black. No, you said you liked it. I, I knew what I, it was. It's my new favorite whiskey. And I have a lot of favorite whiskeys, so. <laughs> All right, but what are some of the lessons you learned along the way that you think maybe could apply if you were starting <laughs> Look over at again? your contract really close. Okay. Having said that. Um, <laughs> Wait, we have contracts? We, like, what oh, is going on here? I don't know. <laughs> Kyle said there was a contract. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. signed Jillian. I signed something. I signed something. <laughs> I signed my life away. That's the bar tab. Good that's luck. Our, oh, yeah, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's why it's the whole reason we bring rich, famous people Let's hear it for the bar yeah, for and the, the bar bartenders. Bar. Scullies, right? Scullery, yeah. Yeah, yeah close enough. Scullery. It's good. I just it's got down, it. It's new. It's downtown. I really thought we were going to be in, in the back of some seedy bar, like in the corner with like a, a freaking video camera. You know what I mean? Right. Look at this. That's we got lights. We, we got production. Look that's how this. we started. Amazing. These are all volunteers. It's they just wanted it to be all better right. and better every week. Right. You know, if you, if you guys would have paid attention in college, you'd be, you know, Okay, well, you, so tell me about how long have you been in Vegas for? I was born and raised there. Okay, well, what do you think? That's a lot, a lot of years. Yeah, that is a lot of time. So tell me how. I know, you see the wrinkles. Have you seen a transformation downtown? Or what uh, do I love downtown now. Okay. And, uh, and I didn't like downtown years ago. Yeah. yeah I didn't like downtown last week, but I like it now. Ooh. I like it now. Now that we break it down, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I think that it, for me, it's like downtown grew up. Like we're a city now. We have things like you would see in San Francisco, you'd see in yeah. New York, you'd see in LA. We have them here now. And that's amazing. I'm very, very proud of my city. Right. right now, it's not sure. just entertainment. And, I, and, and, the only, and the best thing about this is the downtown podcast. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, I'm my so God. Glad. Can I milk a crowd or what? Look at that. I'm so glad Julie booked it. Okay, because you got to finish that because we have to. What is that? Paper, rock, scissors for it. Well, okay. I don't know. But we I just, have all we mine. We just drink it if we lose. What is this? Let me smell it. That's all you, Dylan. Woo. Well, don't you want to prove it through paper, rock, scissors? Okay, ready? Yeah, go for it. One, wait, one, wait, so it goes, it goes one, two, and then boom, okay. whatever you're going to do. Okay, okay you got it, got it. Sometimes you're going to get I'm doing, okay. I'm doing dynamite. Okay, so ready, about. ready. Paper, one, rock, two. scissors. Oh, oh. did you what did, did, I you, do? did you try to cheat to win did you or see, cheat I did, to I did. lose? I been, oh, I've been cheating for years. No okay. Offense. No offense, Eric, no offense. Well, you lost, but we'll do two out of three, okay. so it's not a big deal. One, two. 
Oh, you knew my I double. Won. Keep it. <laughs> one okay, more. Now we're one okay. one. Yeah. One, one two, two, three. Okay, don't know. I took that out. Sorry, 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 sorry. Fine. It's all Dylan. It's all Dylan. Take it. Cheers. That's what I deserve. Cheers to you. Cheers Let's to drink this like down. men. Yes, drink this like men, everyone. <laughs> men and women. Oh. We, we, we had it. We had it. Jay, Lenny, do you have the drinking song? Is that around? Um, Absolutely. What did it say under here before it said, you blacked it out? It said, but nice, say it says, nice tattooed boy. <laughs> okay. My mom, actually it says tattooed mother effer <laughs> with the lady. Oh, we do the drinking yeah. song, but we yeah. don't have any more drinks. Well. We could pretend, I guess. Oh, bartender. Never thought we'd be over this, but. Um, yeah, How let, did we drink all that whiskey? Let, let, let me, actually, let me teach her a drinking yes, song. Yes, yes, okay, um, go. Oh, cool, yeah. Go ahead, just shoot it up. So you just try to sing along. Okay. Our ups and downs, we gather round and sing a drinking song. A toast to those we love the most, a place where we belong. Cheers! Yeah. Oh. Um, well, just for the, this is the symbolic. Where, where is the, that cocktail waitress? The symbolism of it. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody anticipated you drink this much. I Well, you know, you, we, you, when we hung out last month, you said yeah. differently, you know. <laughs> All right, so you have a favorite, all those episodes. Who do you think you did the best job on? Uh, there's this girl, Erica Johnson, who was on uh, the first episode of season two, or as I call That's it, the better Erica. season. That's also the best. This is it. This is my girlfriend, Erica Johnson. Yeah. I love oh, Daily. Okay. And, and shows you what a minor hit oh, on basic cable can get you. Look at her. <laughs> Look at that. That girl's so far out of my league, it's not even funny. Where is my whiskey? <laughs> uh, I believe it was, did she have Peacock or something? She, no. Was it? I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. She had that. an angel. Oh, an angel. Holding a right. shiv. This, in other words, a Philly angel. You know what I mean? Like, and I mean, North Philly? Yeah, North Philly, right? Okay? Yeah. And I put a beautiful mermaid on top of it. Oh, that's really nice, yeah. Yeah. Why do people make such bad decisions? She was 17. Oh, well, not her specifically, I meant. Oh, no. I, I meant abstract to the general uh, population. <laughs> Just Name one 17-year-old who ever made a good decision. Oh, yeah. That's, you know. gosh, too bad, man. I know. To I know. Too. too bad we can't drink. I heard this was a drinking show. <laughs> That's it's a rumor. awesome. Just a rumor. All right. Tell me something cool. What you want to know, Dylan? Um, do you Dylan's have, been um, drinking since 4 o'clock, by the way. No. Oh, yeah. This is what we get when you're a volunteer. Uh, they, when you're a volunteer, this is how you get paid. Oh, good. Sorry, it's faster than... Good. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you bong water. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, cheers. Here, see it. Sure, it tastes like bong water. It really does. You mm -hmm. No, I like whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you don't like whiskey because no. I tried. You like scotch. I do like scotch. Like I grew scotch. up. You know, I drank bourbon for 20 years. And then a friend of mine brings in scotch. And I'm like, I was pissed off because now I drink scotch. Huh. Do you he get, said it's time to grow up. You been in a, do you have a good fight story from being drunk at a bar? <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out at the Scullery no, no, Lounge. No, I mean, I mean, in that. What the hell is this place called? The Scullery? I mean, yeah, the scull scull scullery. Yeah. The Scullery. Is that a word? Uh, that's okay, a we're going to drink whiskey at the Scullery and we're going to get a new. F we're gonna, oh, look at this. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this is getting a little nuts. All right, now we're talking. Here. Uh, hey, hey, okay. Well, Should we just leave these? I don't even have anything to do. It's a joke. It's a joke. She, All right. she actually. Run <laughs> Bonnie actually runs our PR. All right, we're, Bonnie, we're, let's hear it for the PR. <laughs> PR. All right. And did, did I mention I could give a blank about Twitter? I really don't care. I really don't care. Well, Here, that's how you communicate. Dog. Okay, we need an alcohol I sponsor. Communi so. I communicate with a phone call. <laughs> and real people. <laughs> I have 66,000 friends I've never met. I love it. Wow. All right, mm. so, oh wait, to 66,000 friends? Oh, to 66,000 and, and change okay. friends on Facebook like it matters. And apparently it does, because I'm not, I'm not on TV anymore. This is definitely the record. Oh, I know, this is good. Sorry. Oh, oh, you didn't. Oh, we just. What? Oh, that. oh, sorry. Oh, Dylan just showed me up. All right. Can I get a drum roll, please? We're gonna drink this. We're gonna drink this like men. There we go. <laughs> One of us already did. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And for a chaser. Wow. The worst beer in America. You don't think we're from Holland? <laughs> but we're not influencing people, are we? Because you're famous. Like you have influence. Semi-famous. Oh. I'm not as famous as I think I was. <laughs> I think the network wished I was a lot more famous. They wouldn't have fired me. I'm just saying. Ooh. Oh. oh. Okay. <laughs> Let's just say when you stand up to a network, they hire attorneys, and then you're not on TV anymore. Okay. You just hinted it so much. I did. We I did. will fill in the blanks. They're smart people. I know. But what's Some great is them. I didn't say anything that will get me in trouble. Ah, great. We're over time. With lawyers. Um, hey. It's wait, do you, have a, do you have a plug? Yeah. Like, uh, go to my website, my Twitter? Uh, like DirkVerman.com is kind of the base for everything. My, my tattoo parlor turned 16 on February 13th. Oh, yeah, an address? Oh, good job. An address. We got a bunch of locals. Uh, 4972 South Maryland Parkway. Don't come by. I'm not there. Um, 
takes over <laughs> by the university. But 16 years, the yeah. first custom shop in the history of the city. Yeah. And you got a good team that's there doing tattoos for regular people. Yeah, I have an amazing team. Yeah, because I heard, yeah, you don't I'm have retired. to be, I assumed you had to be famous just to walk in the door. I'm, mu I'm much too famous to tattoo anyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so broke right now, you have no idea. <laughs> Basic cable doesn't pay what you think it does. Oh, I'm broke too. I know. That's great. I, you know what? You're broke, I'm broke, and these are all volunteers. See, with the Let's hear it for poverty <laughs> and for art. Poverty for art's yeah. sake. I didn't think we had anything in common, but yeah. Uh, we have a lot in common. Great. Are you in trouble with the IRS too? Uh, I gotta go to the next segment now. <laughs> so everybody stay tuned during this break because we're gonna come back with our entertainment segment. Play for Keeps is gonna be playing their hit song. This was an entertainment sometimes. segment, by the way. <laughs> All right, stay oh, tuned. Cheers. All right, cheers. God bless you. The internet, the world's most amazing tool to stare at adorable cats, like all day. But it doesn't have to be that way, really. Tracky helps you connect, collaborate, and get stuff done. It's a social way to organize your personal and professional life. Inspire the people you work with. And inspire yourself to enjoy more of life's little things. And when the work is done, Tracky helps you plan, and play. Gather your friends, have some fun, and make sure your plans are awesome. Fun, easy. Nobody needs to worry about bears this time around. A long day and a fun night deserve the thwack of a high five. Welcome to Tracky, the tool where everything and everyone in your life works together in harmony. Connect. Collaborate. Done. Ladies and gentlemen, play for keeps. Sometimes we don't see the light Sometimes we don't know we need to fight Sometimes Sometimes we just have to ask Sometimes we don't know what would be best Afraid to fall 
got to do is let the love inside of you Country Club on February 23rd. We want to thank our guest, Dirk Berman, for a wonderful show and thank especially you guys. Don't forget to check out our website at downtownpodcast.tv. Good night.